Let's see an example of a switch case. If there are multiple options, you can't use a if, right? If has got two options, if, then or else, right? Now, where there are multiple options, there you have to go for a switch case. So let's see this example, okay? Now here, what I'm trying to do, this is the input dialog box. And I would like to show three different inputs, not two inputs, Google and YouTube, but I'm going to show Google, YouTube and UiPath.com. Now, based on user selection, it should open the web page. Okay, so how to do that? So for that, all I will do, I will simply add one more option here called UiPath, right? Let me type it here, UiPath. Okay, done. So there are three different options. Now let me click on OK. Everything will get stored in this variable called user choice. The next activity what I need is a switch activity. So search for switch, S-W-I-T-C-H, switch. And here the variable which contains the data, I am going to write that, which is user choice. Okay. After writing that, you would find there is a, a warning symbol. And this happens because your user's choice variable data type is a string data type. Now I have to, all I have to do, I have to change the type argument of the switch activity to string. The moment I do it, the error is gone. Okay. Now what are the three, we have three different cases, right? So the first case is Google. User might choose Google. Okay. This is first case. What is the second case? User may choose uh, YouTube. Okay and write it in the same way, okay, how you have written. And then um, the third choice user could make is UiPath. There is also a possibility that user may not make any choice, okay. If the user is not making any choice, then in the default option that you have, what you do, add a message box and say you have made no choice. Okay, so I'm writing a message if user is not selecting anything then it will show you have made no choice if user is selecting google so it should automatically open google for that which activity i shall use the activities use application browser okay the same thing let's copy paste for all the three for youtube also if user is selecting youtube i'm dragging and drop all these three activities inside all the three use cases okay so all you do first you go to google now on your browser keep the google page open in the background click on indicate in the google case and i am going to highlight select this so what would happen the google has been selected same thing let's do it for youtube and keep your youtube at the background indicate and i'm going to select so it is going to open youtube now if somebody is making ui path same thing Keep UiPath in the background, hit on indicate and select. Okay, so three different uh, options that we have selected, and finally, this is how it will appear. Okay, all you do uh, minimize it. Okay, so this is how. So, default, then Google, YouTube, UiPath. Likewise, you can add, continue to add multiple different options that you might see. Now, for all these activities, all you do say go to the properties which I have showed you and make it to never. Okay, I will do it for all the activities so that it won't get closed. Google and I am going to select never. Done. For all the things done, now let's run it. So I got a box here. Let me make a selection of UiPath and hit on OK. Now you can see UiPath.com page is now open. So if you go to the background, you can see uipath.com page has been opened. Now the next thing what we will do, uh, let me not make any choice. Let me run it again. And here uh, I'm not making any choice. I'm going to simply click on OK. So what happened? It is giving me an option. You have made no choice. So with this, we have covered all the agenda of the switch case that you could learn as a beginner. Now let's move on to our next topic.